Hey guys, here's the supplementary exercise of the week. It is a five minute workout. You can use this as a finisher to, to a, a workout that you're already doing or just use it as its own workout like a lot of these. Um, it is five minutes. It's five different exercises for one minute a piece. It is, a, it is a burner. By the end of this, you're gonna be very, very tired. You're gonna have to, you will be slowing way down. You're gonna have to scale back as you, as you can. I'll go through all the exercises, but you're gonna do a minute of bear crawls. You're gonna do a minute of um, overhead slams, a minute of kettlebell swings with uh, one arm a piece, a minute of <coughs> kick throughs, and then a minute of squat thrusts. I'll go through all these exercises quickly, and I know you need a uh, med ball and a kettlebell, so we'll have modifications if you don't have those. But the first one is the bear crawl. If you have an open space, it's a little better where you can get going a little bit. Um, if you don't have open space, like even a, even a living room, going around a living room is fine, but. If you are confined to a smaller space, just do mountain climbers, but you're just going to do bear crawls. So just get down on all fours, crawl to the end, crawl back repeatedly, go at your pace. And again, if you can't do, if you don't have the open space to do bear crawls, you're just gonna do mountain climbers, so just driving each knee up to the chest, trying to keep that plank nice and flat. After a minute, you're gonna do overhead slams. So if you have a ball, a slam ball or a med ball, focus on keeping the, the chest up, Squat down, go all the way above the head, slam it down, keeping that nice upright chest down, and slam it down for a minute. Uh, if you don't have the ball, you don't need to slam, you can just do thrusters. So whether you whether you have weights or just anything that you that is semi-heavy, you know, in anywhere in the five to forty pound range, depending on what you can do, uh, you're just gonna do thrusters with it. So hold that at your chest, stand up and above the head. Back down, upright chest, up and above the head. Do that for a minute. Again, always slow down when you have to. After that, you're doing a minute of one arm kettlebell swings. So, if you're unfamiliar, you're not really comfortable with kettlebell swings, uh, you can do crab kicks. So, crab kicks. Or you can even do crab walks. So, walking back and forth in that crab position. Uh, trying to put a lot of emphasis on your glutes, but you can do two arm swings also, one arm are uncomfortable, but you're going to do one arm swing, so you're going to grab that kettlebell, and you're going to try to alternate as you swing. So again, with the swing, you're hinging back, coming up with the, with the pelvis, but you're going to swing, alternate hands, now swing. Butt back, butt back, minimal knee bend, kettlebell goes between your legs, kind of at the knee or above, and really powerful hips, powerful hips, back and forth for a minute. Then you're gonna do kick throughs. This is kind of like our, looks like we're break dancing, so have some fun with it. Play some Beastie Boys while you're doing this. But the kick throughs are so from the four point stance, you're going to step out with your left, then kick underneath and up with your right. Then you're gonna come back, step out with your right, kick up and underneath with your left. So you're gonna be going back and forth. Once you get in a groove, you can really start swinging. Now, the further you kick up, the more pressure you're gonna put on your shoulder, so be careful with that. If, you feel uncomfortable kicking way up and way up, just, you're doing like side runs. So from here, just run to the left, run to the right, run to the left, run to the right, back and forth, back and forth. And then, last thing we're doing squat thrust. So if you wanna go into the full burpee, you can, but again, this is the last exercise. You will be very fatigued and burpees in general can be very stressful on the lower back and they're not really done well. So squat thrusts here are going to be totally fine. Squat thrusts are, hey, you're going to get your hands down, then you're just jumping your feet back so you're not going all the way down into that full push-up position where you can really start arching your back. Jumping your feet up, standing, squeezing your butt, hands back down, jump, jump. Remember with the squat thrust, you want to be able to jump back and maintain a tight plank. If you jump and your butt sags like that, it's too much. In which case, you're just going to put your hands down and step, step. But still, as fast as you can, step, step, stand repeatedly, repeatedly. Each one for a minute. Uh, if you have a timer to set, that's great. You can watch the clock if you just have a, a moving clock. But uh, uh, a timer makes it a lot easier, so you don't have to keep checking. You can hear it go off. Um, uh, if you don't have a timer, <clears throat> so try to do about 20 reps of everything uh, as fast as you can. Check the time after. If that took you way over five minutes, well then you're really good. If you got done with all that and it was like two minutes, well then just repeat it. But the more you can take your mind off of watching the clock and just 
focusing on the exercise is the better. But uh, it is five minutes. We will find the, the first set of exercises, the bear crawls, you'll be going really well. By the time you get to the squat thrust, you're gonna be pretty smoked, pretty tired. Always scale back, don't sacrifice form just to go for speed. Um, it's, it is safety first as always. And again, if it's the end of a workout, to be all you need. If it is your only workout of the day, maybe one still all you need, or just uh, repeat that after you do that five minutes rest, repeat it again, repeat it again, um, maybe up to five times, going over five times would be very excessive. But uh, yeah, any questions, email me back in this.